white line. Oh, 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 yes! Oh, it's going to hit the pine tree. I played uh, football and track. Um, I was late to join uh, football my freshman year of high school, and uh, Josh and I ended up uh, being lifting partners our freshman year of uh, football at Loveland. Um, he was a great guy. We became friends right then. Um, all we, I mean, we worked through so many milestones together. Uh, we had a lot of a lot of fun together, um, and you know, I, I still think about him all the time. So it's. Uh, it's really unfortunate, uh, but I love to see what the family's done here because this is some place that I used to, you know, wait for people with Josh, you know, waiting for my ride or his ride, and this is exactly where you do it, so this is a great spot for it, so I'm really happy to see that, uh, you know, something's been put together like this. We stayed in touch throughout college uh, too because he went to Wright State, so uh, he was nearby. But uh, it's just uh, you know it's it, it's a big loss. I think that uh, it's it's still something that a lot of people clearly love uh, him and still think about him, and it's it's uh, unfortunate that uh, this is something that he's not you know able to be here with us right now, and we have to remember him this way instead of all the blessings that he would have given the world if he had stayed around. Hi, I'm Maria Bashreduce, and um, it's just so great that we could get a lot of people who loved and uh, grew up with Josh back at the high school and have a bench in his name. Josh loved cars. He was very athletic. He did track, football, wrestling here. Um, and I really just like looked up to him as a brother um, with him growing up in my house um, all throughout the years. So yeah, he was always fun to be around and definitely always got a laugh out of him. So. So, so Josh came into your house and uh, added to it. Uh, you didn't grow, grow up with him. Yeah, so once my grandma passed away, um, he came into our house and my parents kind of raised him from there. So um, I think when he was starting high school, he moved in and he lived in the basement and he was basically just like another older brother to me and my siblings. So yeah, it was great. Every holiday, everything. So yeah, it's good to have everyone coming out and supporting this new thing at the high school. We, we grew up uh, playing, with, uh, playing with cars. Um, he took me to my first car meet. Uh, so that was, uh, that was pretty special. What kind of cars? Uh, um, it was just like modified cars. So, uh, you know, you, they'd all gather in a parking lot and you go around, look at the hood, kind of like Fast and Furious, like, you know, that type of thing. But, um, yeah, we, we grew up uh, doing, doing cars. Uh, that was our thing. So, he was like an older brother. So, very special. Uh, cause I'm the oldest. So, Having him, uh, it was it was nice having him around. The high school was a really special place for him. He really enjoyed it here. Um, the school was wonderful in helping him to acclimate after losing our mom, and um, and the, this was always really special to Josh. Even after he graduated, he shared with me that these were some of the best years of his life, and. Um, he was really thankful for everything that he had here and we're so happy that everybody came that's here tonight to share uh, in this dedication with us. Um, sisters, did you, any of you? These are Josh's sisters and uh, we're all his sisters. We were missing one unfortunately tonight, but um, we're happy to be able to bring everyone together. And really Josh brought us all together. So. Yeah, and I just want to say thanks to Stephen David for all you did for Josh, taking him in when he was 14 and all the countless nights that you guys took care of him as your own son and you know did everything you did for him. I'm appreciative for that. And thank you for, you know, Josh also brought me to Loveland. I wouldn't have been here if it weren't for him and you guys taking him in. So, you know, I'm thankful well, for you guys. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, he's our brother, so. I know, you know I know. I don't know how you but we're not thankful. do that, but yes. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say anything, Chrissy? 
Christina, I don't think Christina wanted to speak. All right, uh, well, really appreciate all you guys coming. This means a lot. Uh, 2010 is the year that Josh graduated from uh, Loveland High School. This is uh, this was a place that he called home. This is a place that he called his uh, go-to uh, wrestling, football, track. Those were the those were his outlets. Really, I mean, uh, Josh obviously had some hardship, and uh, he really looked to the high school to really get away from those hardships and you know we try to give them some stability at home but you know between your peers and your friends and uh, you know teachers. folks that the teachers that, that did a wonderful job at Loveland we were so uh, we were so proud when he graduated in 2010 and wanted to move on to you know his hobbies and trying to support him and those are the things that we remember him and we really want to everybody all the kids who come here waiting for their parents because you know there are a number of times that we picked up Josh from this same location <laughs> and certainly we hope that kids get to uh, really enjoy the bench under shade and uh, wait for their parents and remember uh, you know there's always somebody there to support them there's always uh, you know family family members who are willing to go above and beyond to make sure that that support structure is there and obviously all the sisters were doing that and we just did the small part of it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you yeah, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have some rocks over here if you want to do some rock painting um, to remember Josh. Whose idea was it to do the bench? Um, it was my sister Jennifer was the one who really initiated it last summer, but we'd all been talking about wanting to do something for him since he passed eight years ago. Uh, we just didn't really know what, and then Jennifer reached out to all of us with the idea of doing a bench and having it placed here at the high school since this was such an important place for him and um, really his whole educational experience changed when he came here he didn't like school he wasn't the best of students prior to coming to Loveland um, and once he came here he didn't play sports until he came here um, and then he was involved in football wrestling track um, pole vaulting and he loved it and he really embraced everything that the school provided for him through teachers and friends and athletics and um, really just everything about the community was wonderful for him and um, and he really enjoyed it and even after he graduated he would talk about um, how much he loved it here and how fun it was and that he couldn't believe how much he his memories were so good of how much he liked being at school here and, and how much he loved playing sports and being a part of that community. And, and so we just felt like this was the perfect way to honor him was to have a bench here at the high school for him. And it's made so well, it's gonna last a long time. That was the goal, yeah. that was the goal. Nobody's yes. gonna wear that stuff off soon. No, no, engraving. no, this is granite, so yeah. yeah. That's, that should last a long time. It's going to be so fun watching right, students right. It is. sitting here waiting and stuff. It is, definitely. Definitely, yeah. We would, I would pick him up after school. I'd get my kids off the bus and come up here and pick him up. And um, once I got them off the bus, and he'd be up here waiting <laughs> with his friends. So we thought this would be the perfect place where kids are waiting to get picked up after their sports. Yeah, this is the perfect way for all of us to remember him. It is, so it is, you. yes. And then, you know, even football games, soccer games, lacrosse games, track and field, you know, when people are coming and going, it's a perfect location for that too. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was, I, I feel very privileged that as, as awful of a tragedy as it was to lose our mom at such a young age, um, she was only 54. I, my kids were very young. My sisters were much younger than even I was. I'm the oldest. Um, it was a privilege to have that time with him. And I really cherish that and I'm thankful for that time that we had to have him be a part of our family and grow up with my kids. Like, like he, he took on that role um, very well, uh, being the oldest in the house and, and really embraced that. Um, being the oldest kid in the house and having that leadership with the other kids. So it was really a great opportunity for all of us. Thanks so much for doing this. 
and for sitting in the sun. Yeah, melting. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> for me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so that. much for being here, David. It really means a lot. My You've pleasure. done so much in the community over the years, so I really appreciate it. This is why I do it, because I get to see nights like tonight. Right, so right. thank you. Thank you very much. I was just told how important you were as a teacher, I'm not see counselor, right? Yeah, a school psychologist. Yeah. Psychologist. So tell me about it. So when Josh came, um, it was after his mother died, and he um, was just such a sweet, kind, caring soul. So he came to our Students Experiencing a Loss group, uh, made some good friends there, and then within a year, he was really helping to plan and lead it. So he would come to my office, and we would talk about what um, we could do during the meeting, and um, he was really good about taking care of the other students. So the other students who had experienced a loss, he would comfort them um, and kind of share his story. He was just a really sweet, caring kid, and he had a really great sense of humor. You probably feel a different loss than a lot of a lot of people, don't you? Oh yeah, I feel like I, I knew him really well because um, even if he was just frustrated with something at school, he would stop in and see me. Um, if he had thought about his mom, he would stop in. Um, so he was he was a really special student and we had a great relationship and um, such a hard loss. But he did touch so many lives. I have some enemies in this family. My five second of fame right now. <laughs> No, I don't. I just started getting some colors on it. Uh oh. Try it. No, no, I see. That's, that's not what I was going for, but it's kind of what it turned into. But. And the last letter is H. That looks great. You did a really good job. Yours will be the one that runs into the punch. Oh, oh, it's going to the ball. No, it'll go, oh, it's going to be Oh, that's not fair. There it goes. I wouldn't get underneath. Down, 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 down. It'll take off. Come on, blow, blow, blow. Come on, You got it. It's going. That's perfect. What if it hits the flag? Oh no, that was Mrs. Bobel. Was it? Nice. Yeah. See Mr. Bobel. Yay. Okay. I got a good picture. Are you tired? Yes. I did a good job.